Hello and welcome to my project Pocket Manager. It's a useful JavaFX application for managing XML files. Well, it was quite a right. Uh, let me just show you next steps. So, from my previous section, I show the groundwork which I have done. And let's continue further. So, the next problem which arrives, it is in following. I have Java objects which represents uh, files. Each file it is an XML file. And as I said earlier, my model objects which I create, they consist of information, updated information about satellites many satellites actually and now I need to I have a plan to write according to this object information models XML creator it, it, it is actually the XML output which has a functioning uh, of um, transforming the Java object into the XML file and how it looks let me show you some quick example I have the tutorial from tutorials point pretty simple I have an element which is the root of the document of XML file then I add to this root an element and after after adding this element I'm adding the attribute and after doing so I'm adding additional new element and so on and so on so at the end I, I get an XML document well let me just quickly go to my Eclipse and show you that this actually so here is a, an example I have my demo class which uh, do above the uh, which doing actually <laughs> uh, the, the steps which I have described it earlier so it creates a root and then he it creates elements and then it adds the content and then he prints the uh, created document. This class does not consist the operation to create a file. It will be handled later. Now, basically, I'm more, I have more concern about writing file, but I will do this later. Now I have more concern about my XML. So, as you clearly see, this is how it looks like. And my goal to create such document and this will be probably appropriate let me just look it up the encoding I am not sure that encoding is right but I can definitely work it out so so once again before I write some code I have done my analysis and you know I'm doing the, this in TDD format so yeah basically I need to write classes which create an XML so why I need this uh, after doing some crude operations on my models like read write update and so on at the end of all of the editing work with the XML information I need to output this information in the suitable format which is an XML format uh, later user probably I, I think sure making sure that user need to co copy these files to his satellite receiver so basically it is uh, one small but very important step the file writer class 
will be pretty pretty simple class I think because he takes the document the XML document and it will be converted into the file and the file location will be specified by the user through the UI but anyhow another important thing is to do such such small steps and let's write a test so let me quickly switch over to Eclipse and write our first test so I have created here a package name XML Outputter Tests which will consist all tests for the XML Outputter and let me just create here a test let me just write here I don't know JUnit case JUnit test case and let me just write here I don't know how I should name it it's a XML outputter for satellite Think, think this. Yeah, sometimes I do dumb mistakes it can happen even to me set uh, L -L -I -T. satellites for satellites because let me just think okay yeah it's alright so I have in one XML file which is satellite XML all information about satellites and that's it and let me just do create this file I did created this this file and my first objective as I done it earlier uh, just to copy some stuff and okay so um all right so first things first i need to write some test basically i will think about doing such thing let me just copy this code because of the nature of my test it is uh, some sort of repeating stuff assert not null and assert not null it is a stuff which uh, let me just quickly do input from the JUnit 5 yep so testing if now i need to specify what i'm testing about well i am testing if xml let me just quickly sh okay so it is xml output for satellite satellites object exists and here I specify like a set now XML output XML output object uh, for satellites pretty obvious what I'm actually doing here now I just need to create such class let me define it first so i need to define it like this like xml out put there uh, for satellite and let me output object obg declare it and of course I need to initialize it and 
have a, an example how I can do this like this and basically I need to initialize this object with a given class and this works like this and now I have written my test case which is failing and let me just create uh, okay so let me just create appropriate class so I have my models I have me my utils and what I need to do I have to do following it is it is not a model it is XML output so basically I need to create another package package and I will call it uh, like following so it is an XML outputters pretty straightforward well now what should I do next um, let me just do some import uh, does the import work I think that I need to save it so let me just think about I need to import this class for some unknown reason the automatic import does not work ah because i did not create the class yeah dump okay so anyway copy this create here a class like like this and now I, I hope I can import it. Yeah, okay. So now I just created my test and then it's passing through. Um, pretty simple. It was pretty simple step. Now um, let's just think what what I need to do next. So basically it goes like this. I need to actually I need to initialize the satellite in my test case. After doing this I need to pass to my XML output output of satellites and do further okay so next step mm, uh, the next step will be like following I need to get hold of my object which is a model of my set information and call on it uh, get set name no 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 I need to actually build I need to build an a set information object and why I need those uh, because after that after I get hold of my set information object I can start to write tests for the outputting this object into the appropriate XML file so let me let me just do this and let's quickly think about how I can do this Okay, so basically, uh, naming, naming, naming. Okay, so I need to have to work with a set model because 
set model is a representation of all satellites uh, which I have read previously and I need to work with the set model because my XML output for satellites he gets hold of a set model which represents satellites point XML file and my XML output output I need to read set model class I mean object and then output in the appropriate XML file so and it goes like this I have I have my set model I need to close it I need to save as this fail file and what I need to do I'm actually need to get hold of my set model and this is a um, how I should put it hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so it look it should be it should it should look like following. It should consist of all. So I need to pick good name for this set model. It is. I will write here like all satellite satellites info object so it's pretty it should be pretty obvious what it represents and of course I need to create this object like this I think I need to pass the the path yeah, I need to pass. Let me just quickly look at look it up. I think that model does not. I'm looking for a constructor. Mm -hmm. So do I use a constructor for this? I don't. I don't think so. Okay, so basically, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. I think it was my first class which I have written for the for this project, and I wasn't so much satisfied with the result, but I did it anyway. Yeah, yeah, a lot of code, and best thing to do basically I don't need to call as some sort of constructor but need to save it I need to initialize string um, path to satellites Set uh, lights XML. Why I need this variable? I need to I need to make sure that I'm that I can initialize my set model object properly. Okay path to satellites XML now I need to look it up how I done it in my tests yep it's pretty pretty easy right now so let me just do it like this yep save it Now I have initialized it 
and now I can actually write new test case so so what is next I have my set model object I have the path to my XML file which I need to read in my set model object and I think I have here the method here this is the method which I used to read and set up JDOM document DOM document and I think I have here build let me just think through create sat information object and I think that I need to call this method yeah I need to call this method and this will actually create me and inf populate my set model with the uh, information from the XML which it, it has read. Now, to be able to do this in the proper way, what should I do? I'm thinking about possibly good test case for this and in my setup I need to do following before I do my test I need to set up following Ah, okay, so <laughs> wrong, wrong object. <laughs> okay, this is what I got when I work with JavaScript. Um, okay, so the complexity is not so huge. I call my info object. I need to call. read and set up DOM document with the, in, with the path to satellite XML and now now I need to so now it knows what to do but in in order to populate the stuff I need actually create stuff so and I just call my builder wait a second creation it's actually create set information objects yeah that will be sufficient so after setting up my set model object I need to populate my set model object with the information from my uh, satellites XML and now I can start actually working with my with my set model pretty pretty easy stuff and what what is actually what steps are needed to do further okay so let me just quickly think about what I shall do next basically I need to make sure that my XML outputter working with a full set I mean that it is working with the object which was populated by the data so I had so I don't have a case that my set model is not null basically void uh, testing testing if 
XML output working with full um, pop with populated pop that set model. Now I need to write following boolean expected result. So I expect to get a true and actual result. Actual result should be de determined by the calling of Ah, I need to throw. Okay, let me just think what I should do. Multi catch. Uh, I just need to call it uh, like this here. N need. I have no need to pollute pollute my test with this stuff. So. Ah, forgot to to name my test right yep I forgot to I uh, need to rename it wait a second yeah recently I worked with a JavaScript and <laughs> I'm pretty overwhelmed overwhelmed but and I love work with Java because Java is some sort of a language which you can trust and anyway so now I have a right name of my class and yeah and does not matter so I'm actually need to write I need to call my uh, where is my object? Let me just do the right stuff first and all, all the stuff later. So now I have my XML file which I need to call. And what should I do? I need to call a method on my XML output object for satellites. Uh, and I need to call a method which verifies that my set model consists some data and if it consists some data I need to return true so here I just need to write a method verify that set model is set up and I need to pass all satellites info object so now I have written almost written the test let me just do it like this, just for the sake of readability reasons. And here I need to write assert and um, assert equals. I think yeah, assert equals. And where I have my assert equals example, yeah, I'm re reusing the code. This is the right way to do the stuff. So I'm expecting to get. My expected result is true. Actual result should be determined by the method call. And I here need to write think like uh, set model wasn't set up. Was not wasn't set up set up and Yeah, 
I have written my failing test case. Uh, wait a second, testing case exist. Wait a second. Yeah, it is interesting sometimes. It is in test package, source test Java. XML output, I need to use this class. Let me just quickly... Save it. Yeah, yeah, it should fa it should the, f the second test should fail, but not the the first test uh, the first test shouldn't fail. But why it's failing? Create no pointer exception. Okay, let's look up what's just happening. So, XML output. U XML. Let me just kill this, uh, delete this. And let me just parse it. Okay, so. Yeah, it's some things with the naming, probably, naming problem. Um, so, this test case should work anyway. Let me uncomment this stuff. Yeah, it's sometimes drawbacks can happen. And let me just uncomment this test case. Now I have only one test case. Need to save the file. Yet yeah, now it works, so I think it is a problem with the initialization. Now let me quickly think why it does not work. So basically, mm, the failure happens with the set model. Do I have a constructor here with a set model? I don't think that I'm using here a constructor.
let me close it unneeded classes so it fails in strange way hmm let me just quickly uncomment this yes it works so he it reads it reads the dot jdom document and Yeah, it should basically it should work without any problem. I don't understand why now I have a problem. So basically, it happens when I call my create set information object method. It's create set information objects. Okay, uh, let me let me look up how I do this in my test. Basically, I think I'm need to work the way of my test. So The path is okay. So I have a problem with the creation. Ah, here, here you go. So I forgot to call this method: setting up set model and calculating amount of satellites. Ah, okay. So yeah, <laughs> strange things, strange things. But you see, this is a, the quality of tests. You know you always have a opportunity to analyze your code so in, in order to be able to do the stuff let me just quickly write this method this is the power of tests Calculate amount of satellites. Yeah, basically, <laughs> I think at some point I need to refactor my um, set model test. But any, I think now, now it should properly work because yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know why why it does not work early because I didn't call this method. Yeah. Check name sat and create information object. Create information objects. Let me just create yeah i think now i now i got it right so let me just run my test yeah 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 so 
some small drawback but yeah it was interesting uh, and I just need to call right method in the right order so cool and now I can do my work further so the model set model set model object is set up and now I can what I need to do set model I need to verify I need to create this method okay and here it goes so let me just do following boolean result let me just do it like false return false and here I, I need to write some simple hope, hopefully simple stuff now how I determine that my um, cell set model all satellites info object is set up well I think I think when I look up my set model class I have here a sorted set the set con con uh, the contents of the set is all satellites which I have and basically it should it shouldn't be um, it should be a null it should not be a null nah, I need to correct my mistake here so I think I'm almost at one hour but anyway I think this will be two part uh, section um, now I need to call my method let me just think about so I said uh, I need to get the sorted set let me just write my getter get yep and here I need to call method is empty so I need so it returns true if this if this set is empty so if this is false I definitely know that my stuff is okay so once again is empty returns a true if if the set contains no elements so I need to expect a false because I have some elements with values in my set and I return just false and now I need to run my test Okay, so I uh, wait a second, wait a second. to write here result yeah some yeah it is I mean I mean I recently I worked at JavaScript and some when you switching between languages it not always without some some sort of a loss but now all tests are passing so I'm satisfied with the result next next on agenda 
Um, what I need to check next? Now where I know that my model can be verified, that model can be verified, and now I can do following. I know that my set model is set up and now I can actually proceed with uh, accessing, accessing I need to access the data from the set model and output the XML from my set model and yeah what what should I do next and basically now it's starting to be interesting because I basically should think about create root element this is another class from the demo project and I'm thinking about setting up a right encoding thing encoding I don't think that I see some here encoding so let me just look it up so okay XML version encoding hmm. let me just quickly look it up okay okay so I did a little bit change in the demo how to output and this is how I need to work so now I have proper encoding type um, yeah because I have same encoding here in the expected XML well it's cool so what should I do next um, basically what I need to do create root element and in my case in my case yeah I always compare the example and let me just do following so XML output -a. test what I need to test first that I can create a root element testing if XML output -a can create root root element so can create I don't need it because it's some sort of binary properties testing if XML output -a, testing if XML output root element yeah and now I need to do here like this and expected value well this will be interesting part um, so basically I need to write an, a method which will return a document JDOM document it will be quite sufficient for the beginning so 
let me just write here let me just get the class what was happened uh, Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, now, okay, so I need to get a JDOM document small increment steps jdom document let me import to my test and here here you go and I writing that my expected result document actually let me just qu quickly think actually I need to get a string from my JDOM document yeah uh, actually, I need to get a string because uh, why I need to create a string? Yeah, I see it's the time, it's almost one hour. So, stay with me a little bit. Um, when I execute my class, I need to get my cars. Yeah, I need to get this string. I mean, in my case, it won't be the cars, but rather satellites. Yeah, satellites. So, expected, expected result is is, a, is a, it is a string which contains uh, the word with brackets satellites and string actual result now I need to call my XML output object for satellites. Okay, so I need to do some parsing in my test. Basically, first I get my document. I'm getting my document and how I'm getting my document I call my outputter and the same here create root create xml xml root And I need to, to to I need to think about it. So yeah, I have my root. 
and that's it first i need to create my route let's make it simple let's make it sim pretty simple stuff so i document can oh, i need to write here like um satellite root xml root because it is a root document because it is the document with a root of satellite so it just can consist of a satellites brackets this part of a line now I need then to compare the stuff assert assert equals and here I just need to write expected result and the actual result and I need to write some text like um, creating satellites XML root because I'm creating the root simple simple like this yeah so I have here my root so I need to get to get this this part and then I will know okay I have my root that's cool and an expected result and actual result I need to do do following so string actual result now it will be interesting because here I have my root let me just look it up what have we here okay mm so basically I done so many XML stuff where I can work it out so it was like I don't know yeah I can look it up in my set model so yeah parsing no no I need to let me just think about mm, where I have my example not here not here yeah, here and I need to parse XML document here yeah. root element root element get root l uh, yeah, yeah. I need to do yeah I need to always to look up the stuff so to close it so here I think this should work yep and now I just need to create this method and here it is and first of all what it should do it should just create my root I need I don't need to verify anything I just creating my root and how I do this 
pretty simple. I need to copy the stuff to my paste bin and to edit some stuff. So I have my element. The element name is uh, how I should name it. Well, I need to name it. I need to take I need to take the right name for this and I need to call it somehow right um, hmm. satellite route new element and of course I need to name it with the right stuff and of course I need to call it like uh, satellites but without brackets and I need to add appropriate data type and what I do next yeah new document yeah pretty pretty obvious gen gen then just returned return the document Alright, so now I can actually run my test. Where it is, where it is, uh, here it is. So now let me just look up why it have some difficulties yep wrong okay so now and basically it probably will fail because I use brackets here yeah let me just yeah I need to lose my brackets because it's obvious cool um, so I have created my root now it will get inter interesting with the next test And I'm almost at one hour at one hour and I'm trying to make sure that I do not take too long to write my stuff but I have a lot a lot of work previously done with JavaScript so I'm quite of overwhel overwhelming right now um, with all other stuff which I have to do let's second so what is next what is next uh, on my test okay so I see a time of at one hour and quick quick thought so I have my root so and I need to create the attribute here and sub sub attributes transponder with the according values so element set with attributes name flex position 
element transponder hmm interesting and in the demo how our said they are doing this card name type um, card name type okay so let me let me just think it through um, I am creating after creating after I have created my root let's just actually draw it and where I have my draw board so let me just delete all of the stuff I have created my root root element and I have my other elements elements which are in my case the set the set and once again the set once again the set so basically I need to make sure I can create my set elements from so I need to get the elements from my object, set model object, and be able to read the elements attributes and create according to all of this XML. And yeah, it will be maybe challenging, maybe not. I don't, no, I mean not. I'm not sure but let's continue this with the second session thank you for your time and till then next 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 bye bye